All right, uh, in this video, we're working on the drive pulley. And uh, I basically got this pulley all pretty much done, glued together and everything. I was doing the video, and I'll let you see for yourself here uh, what happens, and then uh, we'll go on with the new uh, wheel that I'm going to be making, because I'm not going to be making, I'm not going to be using this one. So check it out. Well, as crooked as a dog's hind leg. I'm going to take that thing back off of there. Which is going to be a pain. Well, as you can see, that drive, this drive pulley was wobbling on there like, yeah, unreal how much it was wobbling. So, and it was going back and forth like this, and we can't have that on that belt. I think what it was is the gentleman that I that actually cut these out for me cut them out with a hand drill. Uh, so the hole that was going through the center may not have been exactly straight. So we're, I'm going to do another one, and I'm going to take a different approach to it. Because uh, I need that 5 8 hole in the center, uh, this hole, I need a 5 8 hole, so I'm going to go about a little bit uh, different. This time I'm going to use just two blocks of wood, and they're going to be one inch each board. It's a rough cut lumber, I'm going to use one inch. Uh, I'm going to glue them together, and then I'm going to drill my hole in the center. I'm going to mark it out, drill the hole in the center, and then I'm going to take a bandsaw and cut the outside of a, uh, the circle. And then I'll sand it up and see if I can get it to run a little bit truer <laughs> than this one here. As you've seen, about as bad as a dog's hind leg, I can tell you that. So, uh, let's get on with the video. Alright guys, I screwed up another one. So this is number one, this is number two, and this is number three. And I finally got it on the motor and it seemed semi-round. So what I did is I clamped the motor down here, and I clamped a piece of uh, pipe here. Well, actually, I welded this. I welded this piece of pipe on here, square tubing, so I can use a chisel, wood chisel, or whatever, and try to uh, make this thing semi-round. If you notice, when you look at it there, I cut it with the the uh, bandsaw, and it's kind of chunky looking, but. We're going to try to make this thing round. Man, this is a tough one. This is probably the toughest one I've ever done. And I don't have any chisels for actually um, a lathe. But I got some wood chisels. I don't know if they'll be the same or not. They're just carving chisels. They kind of look the same as one. We're going to give it a try. We'll see what happens. Wrong plug in here. Get this plugged in. It's not too awful bad. But we're gonna try it here and see what happens. Hopefully it don't blow up on me. I honestly don't know how this thing's going to turn out. It don't look that awful bad. It's still got a wobble to it back and forth this way. It's got a tiny little wobble to it. But I'm going to... Oh, I'm going to give it a try, I think. I think it should be okay, but... You know, if worse comes to worst, I'll order a uh, this pulley if I have to. Uh, but we're going to give this one a try for sure. But it does have a little bit of wobble to it. I'm going to try to get a little bit more out of it, and then uh, we're going to give it a go on our sander. Uh, I don't have the pulley glued on there, which I may just order the, the, the pulley. I mean, I see guys making them, but man, I am not a woodworker. I cannot work with wood for nothing. So anyhow, 
I had this belt on a couple times trying to line them up and everything. And I've gotten it about the best that I can. I'm, I'm running pretty good, but I'm not running in the center of this pulley back here and it's off, but let me show you how it runs here. It seems like it got a lot of vibration, but I think it might have something to do with this rear pulley and maybe them front ones might need turned down on the lathe a little bit. It's pretty loud too. Yeah, it's pretty loud, and that may be from it vibrating on the table too a little bit. And uh, let me give this a clamp down here. That might help it. Now you gotta realize I'm not using any blueprint. I'm just doing it the best that I know how of YouTube videos. All the YouTube people out there. Uh, been watching their videos. I'm just trying to make something similar, but I'm just trying to add my little twist to it. So let's try it again and see what happens this time. Not much quieter. So we're rubbing up there. The belt adjustment works good. It turns the belt. if I have it tight enough. Well, it's running with an awful lot of noise, but uh, I may take these off, like I said, and turn these down a little bit so I get them a little truer, and maybe just order the back wheel. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go ahead and order this back wheel, the drive pulley. And then we could still use the roller skate wheels. I mean, that's at least ways those we don't have to buy. And I got a full another set of bearings if I need them. And I think if I turn these down, because I can see them wobbling a little bit. If I can get them turned down a little bit, I think that'll take the wobble out. Or some of the vibration that I have. Alright, instead of this video being like a complete bust, because I really didn't get anything accomplished on that wheel... It's still not going to run true. I can't get it to run true. I don't know that I even have the tools to make it run true. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you absolutely every measurement that I can on this so far what I got done. We're going to start off with a base. Let me get you in here a little closer. We're going to start off with the base. And the base is 12 inches by 20. Now the legs from here down on mine they are six inches so that's two of these at six inches. Now this piece let me get rid of this I'm going to take this piece out and I'll give you this measurement from here to here. It's 16 inches. Now this piece here coming upright I started at four inches and this one down here it started about you could say two or one and one and three quarter and this leg over here starts about twelve and three quarters so it's twelve and three or one and three quarter from this side twelve and three quarters over to here now my uh, this knob that I put in here to tighten this down is sitting at about thirteen and a half inches and I thought I said that was a 5 16 bolt and not uh, and you know I get this as long as you can that way you could bend it now we'll go with the upright right here get this guy up here uh, this piece right here we'll give you the measurement on it it's seven and three quarter uh, our spring on the inside let me see if I can get something down in here and get him out
Give me something here. Okay, this spring is about... It's about four and a half. Not quite four and a half. It looks like four and three-eighths. Uh, say four and a half inch spring. And it's about three quarters inch in diameter. About three quarter inch in diameter. Now this piece here. This is our tensioner here, our guide, helps keep the belt on. The main piece coming down is about six and five eighths. I don't know, it's eight and five eighths, but here's the thing now, here's the kicker. On the bottom here, I welded a plate. So this is about eight and a half inches. And I welded a little eighth inch plate on the bottom here with that hole. Now that's gonna be for my cable to go through. And then this is just the five sixteenths bolt and nut. You can do the same thing with the T, same thing little quarter inch bolt through here uh, my square tubing let me give you the sizes on my square tubing it's an inch and a quarter to the outside on this stock this stock here is going to be about one inch it's just one inch this is inch and a quarter don't forget we had to foul out the inside all those uh, seams on the inside I had to foul out this piece here this little thing that swivels up and down is about two and a half inches and I just basically put the nut down on the bottom. Now you got to watch in order to get a little bit of uh, tilt to the inside, you have to grind off some of your nut. So it'll actually go back a little bit against it. So I think, okay, we'll go to this piece here. This piece here, this is a piece of the one inch stock. And the one inch stock is. 11 inches so that's 11 inches coming out the front this I thought I said it was about I'm gonna say it's about 12 inches yeah, it's about 12 inches on this piece here and then I indented it in so I can get my rest up against the back of the sandpaper so that's why I cut this groove out of there and you can see that in the other video and I think I gave you from center to center on that one so that's what I've gotten done so far I do think tonight I'm just going to go ahead and order the, the drive pulley. That way I can have it done. Uh, I just want to get the project done. It's, it's a little bit tough and I'm going to turn these wheels down a little bit on the front. I'm going to go ahead and stick these in the lathe because they have a little bit of a wobble to them. I'm going to try to get it out of them. This one here is actually really nice, this green one. So I'm going to try to just take them, stick them in the lathe and just maybe, somebody said take an orbital sander over them and try to get them nice and flat and that's what I'm going to do uh, I'm just going to do it to the best I can do and hopefully we can get some of that vibration out of it so uh, that's the end of this one the next one I'm hoping we're putting a drive a new drive pulley on it and getting the motor mounted on it and we have some legs we're going to put on this some rubber legs it's going to keep hopefully keep some of the vibration down and we're going to be putting in the tensioner we're going to be putting in the cable and the latch for this thing uh, this is I'm gonna actually have it to where it'll compress down and hold itself down while I'm changing the belt and then I can release it and the pressure will come back on and it'll be fine I can use two hands to put the belt on if I want and not have to worry about pushing this down uh, and hopefully we could be working on this uh, plate up here in the guide and actually I got some other pieces for the rest the tool rest if I can slide this over here a little bit get you guys over here whoops sorry 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 um, I went in and picked up a piece of uh, this square stock at that Huntington steel that's where I really like to get my uh, metal these guys treat me good and I've been leaving links down at the bottom if you guys want to know where I'm getting the sandpaper the belts and the uh, steel that's where I'm getting it Huntington steel is where I'm getting the steel and this piece here I had to sand out the inside of it the same way as I did the other one uh, to get it to fit in there it's still a little bit snug but uh, sometimes it goes in different directions it may have a little bit of a you know it is you know a little warped or whatever it's, it is metal but that fits right on the inside and we're going to be putting our our rest up here so we'll be able to take this rest on and off and we'll put a bolt uh, same way a tensioner on this side the same way we did for this piece here so 
All I can say is stay tuned. I hope this is helping you guys out because it's been one heck of a project for me. And actually, I'm kind of enjoying it. It's just a little rough. I'd like to tell everybody thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment if you'd like. Till next time.